Dodge Division introduces... The Six Position Presentation, starring Dodge Charger and Coronet, and featuring the Dodge Performers. Here they are, the Charger and Coronet for 1971. What's the matter? You're too cheap to make a separate film for each of them? They're two different cars, ain't they? Well, uh, yes and no. They're, of course, two completely different cars. But they fit together as a team to appeal to one broad segment of the market. But let me tell you what's happening for 1971. Okay, okay, lay it on us. We're all ears. For the first time, a car maker has designed separately a two-door model, the Charger, and a four-door and wagon model, Coronet, separately and distinctly. Pardon me, but what was the name of this film? Yeah, we're supposed to be talking about six-position presentation. There are no two-door Coronets? There are no two-door coronets. The Charger styling and name is Dodge's two-door intermediate. And there are six Chargers in the line. The Coupe, the Charger, the Super B, the Charger 500, the Charger RT, and Charger SE, or Special Edition. There are eight separately designed and styled four-door coronets. They are Coronet Sedan and two-seat wagon, Coronet Custom Sedan and two- and three-seat wagons, Coronet Brougham Sedan and Coronet Crestwood two-seat and three-seat wagons. Hey, what did you say this picture's about? Six-position presentation? You could have fooled me, Aspenwald. Okay, let's go. Let's get on with it. We got the cars. What we need now is the people. Green, you play the part of the Dodge salesman, and Orange, you're the customer. Banana, or I mean Citroen Yella, you're the friend who always comes along to see they don't get uh, taken, right? Incidentally, audience, when it comes to these 1971 Chargers and Coronets we're talking about, we really mean what we say. We think they're great, and we think you will, too. How about a little action? I'll set the stage. These people have heard a great deal about the 71 Charger and are in here to see for themselves. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gringo. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, we people have heard a great deal about the 71 Charger and are here to see for ourselves. Yes, she has her title with her, knows what price range she wants to stay in, and is indeed ready to buy. Yes, so just tell us what's new for 1971, okay? Like the new door locks and the stereo tape player and the ventless side windows and the canopy-type vinyl roof and... Uh, pl please, ladies, I'll be happy to make sure you get the whole story. I won't miss a thing. Promise. Now, turn around and we'll start with this Charger 500. And he'll go right into everything that's new for 1971. Ready, ladies? Here's the first of six positions of presentation. The front. Uh, cool it, Coach. This, ladies, is the 1971 Charger 500's front look. Notice the healthy and mod-looking double-loop bumper and this Charger-only grille. This year, concealed headlights are optional for the Charger RT and Charger Super B and standard on the SE, and electric headlamp washers are available as an option. What engines are available? The economy power, the 225 cubic inch 6, or the 318 cubic inch V8 is standard in the coupe and Charger hardtop. The six-cylinder engine is only available in the Charger and the Coupe, right? Right. And the 318 V8 is also standard in the 500 and SE. But in the Charger Super V, the 383 four-barrel V8 is standard. Of course, you have the optional 446 pack V8 or the 426 Hemi V8. What comes with the RT? Isn't the 440 V8 standard? Sure, and the 446 pack and the Hemi are optional. And for the Charger SE, the 383 two barrel and four barrel are optional. Yes, what a selection. All the way from that 225.6 to the Hemi V8. That's a lot of variety. Let's move around here to the passenger door, position two, where you can get a good look at the Charger's new ventless side windows. No more wind noise and inconvenience from those goofy little vent windows. Yes, what do you do for ventilation? I know the lower ventilation has always been good, but I mean like upper. Funny you should ask. You see those air conditioner outlets in there? They bring in the upper fresh air even without air conditioning. Oh, by the way, Green, don't forget to mention that hidden windshield wipers are standard. Thank you. Is it all right to proceed now? The 71 Charger is on a new, slightly shorter 115-inch wheelbase, still bigger than the others in its class. Yes. Now we're at the third position, right? What are we going to learn about here? How about wheels and tires? 14-inch wheels are standard on all Chargers. 15-inch wheels are optional for all. On the coupe, 
E78 by 14 bias belted tires are standard. F78 by 14s on the Charger, the 500, and the SE. F70 14s on the Super B, and the RT wears G70 14s. Yes, this looks like a new type of vinyl roof. It is, new this year. Canopy type, and it's standard on the Charger SE. Of course, the full vinyl roof is available as an extra cost option for all the Chargers, including the SE. The book says there are 18 choices of outside paint colors for Charger, including six high impact colors. Around here in the fourth position, I want to brag a little about the taillights and the general rear end styling. Yes, you're right. It is a handsome car. And look here. This trunk is a real good size. A couple of the new options for 1971 are the painted bumpers and, for the RT and Super B, front and rear spoilers. Now, over here at position number five, take a look at this interior trim. Standard for this Charger 500 and for the RT are all vinyl high back bucket seats with integral head restraints. For the SE, standard trim includes cloth and vinyl bucket back bench seat with folding front center armrest. Standard for the Charger and the Super B is this all vinyl split back bench seat. Yes. And now can I get in the driver's seat? Uh, be my guest. You're at position number six. When you get in there, you'll notice that neat padded dash and instrument panel with the easy to read gauges. And oh boy, a floor mounted cassette stereo tape player, which can also work as a tape recorder if you buy the optional microphone. It is bad. That means good. Look, it can record programs direct from the car radio while you listen. It even has an automatic volume level control. The microphone can be used to record voice or other sounds, ideal for reports or letters, for the traveling man or the doctor or the busy executive. Also new this year, but standard equipment, is the keyless door locking. Just push the button down and give the door a shove, and it locks automatically. Well, there's your sixth position presentation of the 1971 Dodge Charger. Wait a minute. Are you telling me I'll get a Charger for the price I'd be paying this year for the comparable Coronet model? Exactly. It's a winner, isn't it? So is this Coronet for 1971. It comes in three series, all four-door sedans or wagons. The Coronet, the Coronet Custom, and the Coronet Brome. It has a new, longer 118-inch wheelbase and a new, wider rear track. And almost all of the new optional equipment available for Charger is also available for Coronet. The floor-mounted cassette stereo tape player, for example, and the hood release on the dash. Uh, wait, wait, hold it a minute. If you want to read some of Coronet's features, it's okay. But, but would you begin at the beginning, please, with standard features for 71? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, yes. Standard on Coronet of 1971 are ventless windows, hidden windshield wipers, keyless door locking. This huge loop bumper which completely surrounds and protects the bright three-piece high-impact grill. How about series and models? The Coronet series offers a sedan and a two-seat station wagon. The Coronet Custom series offers the sedan and two-seat wagon, as well as a three-seat wagon, and the top of the line, Coronet Brome is a sedan, accompanied by the Coronet Crestwood two-seat and three-seat wagons. That's eight models of Coronet, individually conceived, designed, styled, sized, built, and priced for the car buyer who wants a lot of class, but who has to be practical above all else. Yes, and all of the Coronet station wagons are providing three great new features. Three, call them three. First, you can now open the tailgate without lowering the window. Second, between wheel wells is 48 and one half inches. A four foot sheet of plywood or wallboard lies flat. And third, there's a big new handle to use for opening the tailgate. Great for us gals. Take a look in here at this beautiful simulated wood grain instrument panel. It's this way in all customs and bromes. And how about these seats? Standard in the Coronet Brome is a cloth and vinyl bench seat with split back and folding center armrest. In the custom, a cloth and vinyl bench seat is standard. Optional all vinyl bench is available. The basic Coronet sedan offers all vinyl seats with color-keyed rubber floor mats. Look at the rear of this sedan. The tail lights, stop lights, turn signals, and backup lights are mounted right in this massive protective rear bumper. Yes, and here's a rundown on available engines. The 225 slant 6 and the 318 V8 
are standard in the coronet and custom. The 318, there's no six, is standard in the brome and crestwood wagon. The standard brakes with all coronets are drum brakes, but front disc brakes are available at extra cost. Well, people, that's what we've got in the 1971 intermediate line. I'll say it again. They're all one great line this year. 14 vehicles, chargers and coronets, each specifically designed and priced to appeal to a great number of American buyers. Thank you.